Welcome. Today we are talking with Troy Dennis. He is a senior vice president at MasterCard and head of product, fintech, financial inclusion, and ESG for North America. Troy, welcome, and thank you for joining us at today's Banker Digest. Thank, thank you, Larry. I'm excited to be here and, and excited to be engaged in this conversation today. Good, good. Or right, let's get started. Troy, as you well know, there has been a lot of work done and progress made, but it seems that we are at the beginning and there are more untapped opportunities. What are you seeing as the next wave for ESG in North America? Yes, Larry. Larry, you are correct. A lot of work has been done over the past several years to accelerate accelerated by the global pandemic. The social unrest, the unprecedented uh, economic climate, um, and not simply on, on what's happening, but how are we showing up as a corporation? At MasterCard, we are connected with the why. The why of our purpose and to the what of our, is part of our fundamental business strategy. And so we focus on people, planet, and prosperity. And we are concentrating our efforts to drive the collective action to demonstrate the impact of the communities, the environment, and, and how we operate. And so as we look forward to ESG, we focus around those three priorities, people, planet, and prosperity. Um, and in that, we go deep around you know, how we show up at work around our people, around the planet, how do we protect the planet, how do we use the powers of, of MasterCard, our reach, our global reach, and our reach within the U.S. and within North, North, within North America mm -hmm. to impact the climate and impact the changes uh, with our technology, with our data, with our key partners. Um, and then in terms of prosperity, we strongly believe if you help the community, you help the, you help the environment, that, that we will all prosper. Great, great. Thank, thank you, Troy. So thinking about that, you know, how are you translating ESG objectives into product offerings? Thank you, Larry, for that question. Great question. Um, as the head of ESG for North America and product offering, this, this is right center into my remit. And so what we do is we focus, I just talked earlier around people, planet, and prosperity. And mm -hmm. so talk about people. We pledge $500 million to, um, to the Black community through our in solidarity efforts, the way we show up is in several forms, financial education, financial literacy. Um, and we also, from a product standpoint, we use our prepaid product. I lead prepaid for North America. We believe prepaid is the avenue to take the cash economy into the digital and get them in, get the bank, the unbanked and underbanked banked. Um, and it starts to build trust. Um, the prepaid product starts to build trust and starts to get them into the digital economy. As you well know, um, being a cash economy, cash can be expensive, and it and it over indexes the black and brown communities um, when you go to have to go to check cashing places to get access to cash. And the pandemic accelerated that the fact that some places were closed, and so they had to you know go above and beyond their normal practices to get access to things that were that that they normally had access to. And so ensuring right. that they get into the digital economy is becomes really, really important for us. And then the tools around um, Black small businesses. We provide grants to Black small businesses. We partner with the SBA. Uh, we are the leaders in terms of um, black, female, black female small businesses. We partner with our issuing banks to ensure that we, that we provide them insights and research and also support their product strategy around small business. And then plan it. I don't want to. I don't want to leave out the planet because part of ESG is very focused on the planet. Uh, we do a lot around climate education. Uh, we have we have partnered with the economy, who's the global leader um, in 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 predicting and using um, transactions on your debit or your credit card um, to to show exactly to start educating customers. And consumers on the transactions that they make, what is their what is their carbon footprint, and to show those transactions, and mm -hmm. so it's really powerful. Um, and so we're taking we're leaning in on that, and we have a few partners signed up, um, and, and it's really powerful to start educating customers within North America and consumers within within North America 
how their everyday transactions can impact and improve the environment. And Larry, I think it's 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 interesting to see that people want people want to protect the environment, regardless of where you stand on whether the climate, whether climate change. I don't want to get into that, but I do think people want to do good for the environment um, and understanding. But a lot of times our consumers don't really understand, like, how can I impact that? And so we use our carbon calculator solution to help empower that. And right. so you can literally look at your application on your phone the same way you look at your transaction and go, oh, that purchase, this was a carbon, this was the carbon, um, this was my carbon footprint. And we make recommendations on, we don't, we don't guide, we make recommendations on how you can improve that situation. And then we link them to our Priceless Planet Coalition, who plants trees. Um, if you want to think about, you know, well, I want to do something else, right? Some consumers say, I want to do better. How can I make an immediate impact? Um, and if our partner is part of our priceless planet, they can make donations and plant and, and, and plant trees to help offset that. So that is the work that we're doing. Great, great. Uh, thank you, Troy. You are obviously living and breathing ESG every day. What are the trends that you expect to emerge over the next 12 to 24 months? Thank you, Larry, for the question. A great question. And you are absolutely right. I am living ESG every day as the lead of ESG for North America. I am working with our North America counterparts, but also working for a global. Mascar is a global company, and we ESG is imperative in all of our goals. And so at MasterCard, we have put ESG targets into, we started off to a year ago into our executive comps. We also mm -hmm. put it into every employee's compensation. Um, and so we are emerging and we are focused on ESG. Um, we are going to continue to focus on black and brown small businesses. Uh, how do we ensure that they thrive? Um, you know, thrive in the pandemic. The pandemic is over. How do we ensure they thrive into the future? Uh, we are going to focus on financial literacy. Uh, for, for, for the black and brown community. And just in general, we believe to close the economic wealth gap that consumers need to understand, not just, not just give them access to capital, but they also need financial literacy to understand the, understand the, um, the environment that they, the environment that they're, that, that they're working in. Uh, there is a gap in that within the black and brown communities. Um, and so helping to solve that. And we work with our corporate partners, our global partners to ensure that we are showing up authentically uh, the right way to help solve that. And then the planet, we are going to continue to enhance. I talked a little bit about our carbon calculator solution. We have a roadmap in place and we will continue our advancements around carbon calculator. Uh, so consumers understand their, 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 their carbon uh, footprint. We work on sustainable plastics to, to work with our global with our corporate partners on making solutions around sustainable plastics, mm -hmm. uh, around our inclusion strategy. Uh, we have we have what we call the the the, the true card um, in place where where consumers who may not identify with the name that they were given they can put they can they can put the name on 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 their card. We also have the touch card for blind consumers seeing impaired consumers that so they can recognize mm -hmm. the card. So I think at MasterCard, we are taking a holistic approach uh, to ESG, hitting on the E, the S, and the G. And so, you know, I think our strategy will continue to evolve as it should. As ESG evolves globally, we'll take our learnings from our global partners and from my global um, peers and see exactly how they translate and resonates into the U.S. market. Great, great. Uh, thank you, Troy, for spending time today with uh, today's Banker Digest. Uh, your vision for what ESG can be and how it can unlock opportunities is highly encouraging and inspiring. So thank you again, Troy. Thank you, Larry. It was my pleasure. Great. And thank you. In closing, thank you for joining today's Banker Digest. If you have additional questions for Troy, please see the link in his bio.